And I then suddenly got this flash of inspiration to sit there and write 68000 code um, trying to solve uh, core problems like how to make large three-dimensional looking balls, even though they were 2D, roll around a screen quick enough. And I, I spent a month or two proving that that critical part would work. And we signed up with Virgin um, March 91, and it was still called 147. They had a very fancy what animated 147 in 3D and dots moving around, which actually looks remarkably like the front of IK plus 16 bit because they had the same coat. And when we were showing it at a trade show, Jeremy Beadle, of all people, came marching out of the crowd and saw the game demoing itself. And he said, that plays just like Jimmy White. And some guy from Virgin said, uh, oh, do you know him? And before you know it, uh, they're swapping phone numbers. And Jeremy Beadle had Barry Hearn's telephone number. And he, he basically said, yeah, ring, ring that guy. He'll sort you out. He'll put Jimmy on it or anyone else. Um, so... Literally two, three days later, a bunch of us drove over to Romford in Essex and had this meeting with this character that was like J.R. Ewing. Um, he had his legs on the desk, scratching his bits, sort of saying, yeah, yeah, I'll give you some money for it. And it, <laughs> it was very strange. And Jimmy was there. And um, we just got on really well. So always on. We changed it to Jimmy White's World in Snooker. The only thing I had to do was to change the title screen.